everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Halloween. Hope you had a great holiday today. Um, hope you got a lot of candy and now your time to relax and enjoy a Halloween movie or a scary movie, depending on what you like. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the film Under Wraps, but we're not going to just be talking about the first movie that came out in 1997. We're going to be talking about its remake and its sequel. Now, I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with this movie, but I remember watching it a long, long time ago. I remember seeing it on TV late at night, and it, I didn't watch it from the beginning, but I did catch it like part of the way through. And I remember seeing a mummy going through like a drive through you know, broad daylight. I was like, what the hell is this movie? Um, and then many years later, I found out that that's the name of the movie was called Under Wraps. And so I wanted to do, about, do this video last year, but just some things came up and ended up not happening, uh, having to work and stuff like that. But uh, today, and you know, I'm going to talk about the movie, and I'll let you know what I think. And for the first two, at least, I'm going to compare and contrast the original versus the uh, the remake. And before we get into that, remind you guys to please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, do all that fun stuff. Um, also, go check out and follow me on Letterbox. Those links will be in the description below. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first film we're going to be talking about is Under Wraps 1997. Um, I'm just going to be talking about the uh, the first uh, little bit of the movie and how it, it differs uh, from the other one. So yeah. The movie opens up to a family sitting at a dinner table. The youngest boy is saying that he doesn't want to sleep in his room because of a monster. His dad assures him that there isn't one. However, whilst dad is doing the dishes, a Victor Crowley looking creature breaks through the window. Before that, the dad drops the knife in the kitchen garbage disposal, blade up, and after the monster grabs the dad, he tries to push his head down on the knife. The movie came out in 1997, you say? It cuts away, and we see that the movie is watched by our two main leads, Gilbert, played by Adam Wiley, and Marshall, played by Mario Yadida. Gilbert is scared and runs out of the theater, and we find out that he's not really into horror movies like Marshall. They walk down the street up to Mr. Kubot's house, who is sort of a feared figure around the neighborhood. We walk up and ring the doorbell, and he answers. Play, we see that he's played by the late Ed Lauder, who plays Captain Hour in the original Longest Yard. The boys run away, however, due to the dog trying to chase them, they run back inside, and we see Marshall's mom and stepdad, Ted, played by Connie Bauer and Bill Foggerbucky, who, if you don't know, it plays a famous animated character. Let me know if you know, recognize this sound. <laughs> That's right. He is Pat, the voice of Patrick Starr. Um, he also he has a dual roles. He plays the the stepdad boyfriend character, and he also is Harold the Mummy in the movie. Marshall gets asked by Ted if they want to join them for ice cream, but he says no and goes upstairs. We see that his room is full of cool monster memorabilia and all kinds of spooky stuff. And we learn that his mom and dad got divorced, and we see that he's still working through the changes. He, it's kind of telling the audience with a little dialogue that's given that even though he's trying to help his friend get over his fears, he still has fears of his own that he needs to overcome. The kids go to school, and we are told that Mr. Kubot has died mysteriously. And then he and somebody else defied a, devise a plan to go through his house. You know, breaking and entering, you know, what uh, all the kids were doing back in the day. <laughs> It's weird. Now, let me show you the giant, you know, obviously, you know, hugely different remake they decided to do. Let me show you what they did with that. The film opens up in the same way, but we see a babysitter and a boy who is much older than the original. Being afraid of monsters, the sitter goes into his room to check. She screams, and we see a big, goofy, green-looking creature break through the door. Of course, this movie is being watched by our two leads. We see Gilbert, played by Christian J. Simon, and Marshall, played by Malachi Burton, enjoying what looks like test footage for a new live-action Scooby-Doo Scooby -Doo movie. It's definitely not as cool as the original monster, but I guess, you know, due to modern sensibilities, they didn't want to have some guy who's kind of messed up and creepy looking being a, a modern-day, you know, kids film. I could see them toning it down for that. But, you know, some people will be like, oh, you know, ableist bullshit whatever woke crap but anyway they decided to change up the uh, the creature design just a little bit gets scared runs out of the theater and again we see he's a kid that's not fond of horror movies or really anything scary despite it being a disney movie there's still a lot of cool set design that goes involved with making it it is made for tv but you know with you see everything 
you know, all the costumes and the lights, and there's a lot of effort that's put into this stuff um, that I think a lot of people, you know, forget about, you know, with the set design and everything. Um, although it is very much a set. None of this feels like it's in a real neighborhood. It all feels like it was filmed on the Universal backlot. You know, it, it looks very fake, but it's still, it's supposed to give that Halloween vibe, you know, uh, at that time of the year. And, you know, it, it does that for the most part. One difference from the original is that we they go into this cool-looking Halloween store and they get scared by Buzzy. Uh, she's the store clerk and she's wearing a what looks like a nod to Teen Wolf. Uh, and she tells the guys she's part of a haunted house attraction. More callbacks to the original, we see Mr. Kubot, played by Brent State, who comes up from behind Gilbert and like a creep yells at him to get off his porch. They again run and hide. He comes off more straightforward as a bad guy to get the point across. You know, latter was more about, you know, presence and being, you know, straight obvious. They go home again, and Marshall's mom is dating Ted, played by Jordana Langley and Jamie M. Kalika. We see that Marshall is a bit more bitter and doesn't want to get on from his, you know, his parents getting a divorce. It's done better in the original. Gilbert calls Marshall on the walkie-talkie, and he says that Mr. Kubot has brought something in his house looks like a sarcophagus so a little bit changes from the original um the the mr kubot character you know is obviously doing something bad you know and it's just i think with the movie you know this modern uh take on it you know they got to be kind of more straightforward and uh you know i you know i don't know what the they wanted to change it up and i guess this is their way of changing up i I can't remember if they killed the character off or not. I don't think they killed the, the character off, but that's just the openings and how they change. But I, I will say throughout the, the movie, you know, they, they all have their same, the beats, they all go through the, through the same beats, and they all pretty much follow the same format. Um, I would say the creature effects, Bill Foggerbuck, he does a better job in the original, but the creature effects, the other one, are, are you know, are all right. You know, this cartoony all the way around. Um, but in the this this we see in the first movie that he they go back they go to the museum and we see that he has a uh, a female uh, in a sarcophagus and that they, they they see each other in this movie he does the same thing and they they kind of join up together um, but there was a sequel to the 2021 version which we'll talk about now. So this movie is obviously a follow-up to the remake that they did. And one thing I can appreciate is that the character who was really afraid in the beginning of the last movie, uh, he kind of, he makes a, a YouTube channel where he overcomes that fear of, of being scared. And, and it, it relates a lot to me because that, that's why I did this channel. And, and so I, I appreciate that little story element. But this movie, the, the bride at the end of the remake she there was another another mummy and the mummy that betrayed him was Harold and now that this mummy has become alive because he's wearing like this magic talisman necklace thing now that the mummy is alive he's trying to get revenge on Harold and then the movie unfolds and you know it becomes a sequel and it pretty much gets the same the same beats from the last movies I mean they're not they're not great movies but they're just fun little Halloween kids movies that I think everybody can enjoy and I I, I believe that you know if you're a fan of like these old Disney Halloween movies watch them again because a lot of people watch them with like with rose rose colored lenses and you know they have a lot of nostalgia but it's always fun to watch back these and see how like kind of I wouldn't say bad, but just how weird they truly are. Um, and so, yeah, I would say these movies are not great, but they're not awful either. So if you're a fan of Halloween, if you like, um, you know, being creeped out, PG, um, then I, th I think you'll like these movies. So, Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.